serious makeovers happening. Wow, it's beautiful. Which is probably by far the most exciting part of this video. Hi guys, so last time I filmed a video like this, you guys seem to really like it where I just did clips of my week. So we're back with another vlog and a bunch of house update stuff that you'll see shortly. So the week you're gonna see actually starts off with my birthday and some birthday stuff, which is super, super fun. We had such a great time. Hi everybody, you're looking at the first clip, first vlog clip of me as a 28 year old. Hi, birthday. thank you. Um, actually yesterday was my birthday, but we're celebrating Sunday and Monday Sunday with my family and Monday with some of my closest friends I'm really excited about it um, The balloon arch is already up Sydney does these for me like every single year and I did one for her actually I'll pop that up here, but isn't this so cute? So this is kind of more like my family birthday situation But we're going to repurpose the balloon arch and actually use it for like my friend birthday um, which is themed Camp Rachi. So I'm making it summer camp themed. So I'm actually going to be using the Cricut. This isn't sponsored at all. I just really love this thing um, to make some personalized things for my guests. Um, this is the first like fun birthday in a really long time. I think we're all just really excited to get together now that it's a little bit safer and like we don't have lockdowns and all that. No, what? we're not talking about that in this video. I ordered these trucker hats off of Amazon and I'm gonna be printing my Camp Rachi logo on all of them for all of my guests. And then we also picked up these bandanas, which I'm gonna put everybody's names on them, I'm pretty sure. Um, they are made of polyester, so I'm like a little bit nervous because I just don't know um, how the vinyl is gonna take. I actually have vinyl sheets in like the perfect color, so I'm thinking of doing like the opposite. So like this one will get like this type of transfer and then this one will get this type of transfer. We've just been kind of picking up and putting our lives back together. Look at this hat. So fun. I had so much fun making these. So if you see them around, that's where they're from. We have a bunch of house update stuff. I'm not going to keep you guys any longer. So let's roll the clips of all the random shenanigans of this week and our office makeover, which is probably by far the most exciting part of this video. Anthropology order. I got these. I'm very excited. I thought I ordered them before, but I guess I didn't. It's gonna look very, very similar. Very, it'll remind you of something. I got some new pillow shams because these are the Amber Lewis collection. And if you guys know, I have that quilt on my bed that either some of you really hate or some of you like. Um, but the King shams were on sale and even though they were a bit pricey, I thought like, what if she discontinues them, you know? Like I want to make sure I got the matching set before I wasn't able to. But these are so beautiful. That's gonna look really nice in our house. The back is like this oatmeal color, so if you like change your mind about them. Wow, these are so well made. So I'll have these linked if they're still available, but I just got a set of two. We are at Homestead's. And I'm just gonna look for some stuff for our home. Kind of a bad day so this is one way i'm trying to make myself feel a little bit better i just found the mirror the mirror from home sense everyone oh it's so big oh, I was like, wait what are you talking about i thought you were talking about the this mirror. I was like, what is that why do you like oh that? my god it comes in black and also comes in this brass it's, huge, though, but it's, you can't sit there. it's 300 that's, that's really sick. good price that's a great price basically two meters by 1.1 meters <laughs> it was the same day as we got the mirror from home since Dylan and I got it at home. I'll show you guys soon, but I actually am going to Ikea with Sarah. Um, we just wanted to wait till the rain let up, so just get in here now. At Ikea. Yeah, the bedding got really cute. Yeah. 
new stuff at Ikea, like this pink rug's really pretty. This is like, this could be really cute. This one here, that's really nice. They're adding some texture. Like that's really cool. That's pretty. And this one, which looks like kind of that classic print. And there's a bunch of geometric ones over there. They also have this more like Moroccan style one. These are some of my favorite frames. These are the Riba frame. I used to only get them in white, but now I'm like leaning towards black. And the frames are actually a lesser price than when they were before. This is so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a vase I wanted, but it was sold out last time. Maybe it's here. I will blur out Sarah's stuff because you're gonna have to keep up on her channel. I'm wearing this shirt all the freaking time because I love this shirt, it's my favorite shirt. We are actually reconfiguring the basement situation today. Or, um, I think I showed it, kind of. Um, but basically, the table is in the middle. We moved it because my brother's gym situation's over there. So, this is what it looked like with like the chairs. Still, I've already started moving it, but um, yeah, you guys get the gist. But our plan is actually, whoa, our plan is we decided, you know what? This configuration makes no sense and takes up a lot of room. So what we are gonna do is we, I actually already bought a rug for here and this is actually gonna go into the guest bedroom possibly. If not, we may sell it. Um, and I want to be able to fit a little sofa down here so I can do work while Dylan does work at a desk because let's face it, I've never been a desk person. So the desk will be here for sewing and crafts and Dylan's work and whatever we need. And if I decide randomly that I want to sit at a table and do work, but um, I do want a little thing over here. I actually drew out a plan of how everything's going to go. So we're going to rearrange it today. I don't think it's going to like completely be done because there's some things I do want to add, but um, the only thing that we're actually buying is the the rug that I got at home since yesterday. Everything else is stuff that we either have or I'm gonna go grab it from my mom. Um, like I already have the sofa and everything. So, cause they're doing some rearranging in their basement as well. So yeah, good morning. <laughs> Pretty exciting. Look at my hair. So bright, look at this. Ooh. so good. I actually really like the thing. What if I did beauty tutorials over here? Yeah, it's actually pretty bright, eh? No lights. Yeah. The sunlight. I love, that's like one of the reasons why we loved our house when we saw it was that the lighting down here was really great. So if we ever want to film in the basement, we could. And um, I can't wait till there's a little soap. It's gonna fit, it's gonna look so good. And we have like a little side table that we got from EDB as our like consolation prize for like having to make the sofa for so long. I'm thinking like maybe the sofa should go like back here, like pretty much here. Look at my socks, <laughs> right here. Are you a pelerina? I see these girls on TikTok and they're all doing this thing. And they're doing this. But like their feet are touching. It's actually really hard. And then like the dad did it too. They were all so good. It was like a mom, dad, and daughter. <laughs> oh. Hello. Over. We are going to finish it today because we moved all the furniture yesterday and it's looking pretty good But I'll show you guys once everything is like styled and actually cleaned up But I'll show you guys my outfit because guys um, Cold weather even though it may not seem like it cold weather is upon us Wear your summer dresses now because we don't know it could be cold next week. Probably not Shoes are Kim Jones Converse collab the dress is Revolve and I'll link it. Hopefully it goes on sale soon because like I said, end of summer. Um, little necklaces, this one's vintage and this one is bobble bar. 
and that's it. When I wear dresses nowadays, I like wearing a little bit of platform because I'm not the tallest person. So we're wearing this, OOTD. Heading to a little cafe that's near the home sense we're going to. Uh, Sarah actually was the one who said we should go. Now we're here. We're gonna review it on her behalf. It's called Forest Cafe. So cute. It was really busy in there, so I didn't want to try it in there. So, trying it now. I got a blended mocha with almond milk. What'd you get? I got a peach peach iced tea. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Good stuff. It just tastes like a hot chocolate. And it tastes like a like a bubble tea, peach tea. I mm. feel like that. I think I like this more. Let me try it. Needs to be stirred. All the chocolate's at the bottom. These look so comfortable. All the matching colors too. Tiny These are concert. so tiny. They're for the Tiny Dust concert. That thing looks very interesting. Dylan, look at these hanging sacks. Yeah, that's a very strong clip if that's holding it. These are really nice stools. Like Amber Interiors would use something like this. Some really good textiles lately at HomeSense. I like these. These are really nice. I've been eyeing these, but we have nowhere to put them. But like very, very pretty. Someone needs to pick these up. They're so gorgeous. This is actually the rug we got. So they have another one here. We don't want this one. Though. I know, but are they all clearance? Oh no. Oh yes. All the Lloyds are on clearance now. Yeah, that's what your mom was saying. I didn't know that. Could we get it readjusted? This is also a really nice rug. Really pretty. This one? Look at all the office organization. Do you want these? These are so cute. Do I need one of these? <gasps> oh, I think I found our one tacky pillow of the really pretty bath mats at Home Sense. This one's so like anthropology style and only 20 bucks. But they have so many really nice bright or like neutral colors depending on what you're going for. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Has anyone listened to the new Casey Musgrave stuff? Because it's so freaking good. So I have about an hour and a half before I have to go to my appointment with my therapist. Um, so I decided well, let's finish up this little basement makeover today. And we're going to head over to Fabricland and pick up um, just a little bit of fabric. Because I do want to create some pillow covers. Because I have some good throw, throw inserts already. I just don't have the right color for basement and I figured this would be the most cost effective and specific way. I went to home since yesterday and had no luck so I figured that this makes the most sense. So we are at fabric land now and like I said we're gonna pick up some throw pillow fabric. I need to put my mask on. Okay let's go. Oh my god they have Halloween stuff. This is so exciting. So pretty. I love a good gingham but I don't need it right now. This is also really pretty and very sophisticated. This is also really nice. Oh, look over there and see if there's anything else. This is literally perfect. So happy I got this. I spent $19 on all of my stuff. I'm so excited about that because I'm probably going to be covering three pillows. So that saved me so much money. That's like six bucks a pillow, roughly. And um, yeah, I already had the inserts. So why not? Jillian Yang. Thank you. I want you to guess how much this fabric was. Wow, this is a nice fabric. If we went to the fabric store that we like, this would be seventy dollars a yard. <laughs> uh, fabric land, I'd say let me spend what two meters? Like this is one point two. So how much do you think it is a meter? One point two meters means you got it on clearance. End of, end I shouldn't end. have revealed. <laughs> no, it was actually just an end. But that means an end piece. Uh, Fifteen bucks. Five dollars. Five. A meter. Bucks. Five dollars a meter. Jeez. I know, but I think it's That's gonna. That's a good fabric. It's gonna look so good. Like, look how nice this is. They only have one point two meters, so that this is the only fabric I liked. I think it's gonna look really nice, won't it? And then if we wanted to get exper- I think that's gonna look perfect with this. This is all perfect. And then if we want to get experimental, I spent $19 total because I bought zippers. Because mm. I think that could be really pretty on the back. Mm. 
like a little shot of color. It's fun. No, no, I mean, like, you've been using like the end of a fabric. Oh ah! my god! So close, Toledo! It's gonna work. It's, it's gonna, gonna work. work. Let's go! Wow, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, Jill. It's beautiful. That is such a beautiful pillow. Yo. Yo, professional, man. Just Let's go. No, it looks good. Like it? It's a nice, firm pillow. Ooh, hoo -hoo, that looks sick. It's fire. Yeah. So I just finished the last pillowcase, so I'm going to put it on. But I think this color just looks so much richer and just matches a lot more than this situation. I'm obviously going to keep these. I don't know if these are all going to go down here, but I'm really proud of them. Like, look how nice the zipper turned out and everything. Such an easy project and literally cost me like five bucks a pillow. Final office situation. This room has gone through so many transformations in the past few short months. You guys have seen it go from literally a little construction zone to uh, having it be like a filming room and then having it be like a full on office. And we finally figured out what works for us. I figured that living here will obviously adjust our plans. We didn't really spend any money on this space and we still haven't really. We, the only thing we have here is our new rugs. So as you guys can see, that is the little office space now. I actually sewed over here this morning and it went so well. I'm so happy about that. But always this room is going to be a work in progress. I definitely need something on the walls on this side because it's very bare. Um, these are going at some point and then eventually we want two filing cabinets from here to here. As you guys know, that entrance is our gym, but currently I just have some random extra stuff we need to put away from when I have my birthday and stuff. But I think this is such a better use of the space. We still have more than enough room to walk around and to access this closet, which is something I really wanted. But this feels far more complete. We just need to get our projector that I've been raving about, but Perfect space to do work, to come down here in the morning and really separate our space, you know, from like work versus play and stuff. But I'll show you guys what our guest room looks like because I actually made a little mini pillow for it as well. So up here is the same. We just have one more addition, as you guys can see. This is a massive mirror that I purchased at HomeSense. It was only 300 bucks, which for an 80 inch by 40 inch 80 by 44 inches mirror and it's like real wood on the frame. I think that this is really good. I don't know if it's staying here. Yeah, same stuff over here as per usual. Up here, so we have our guest room and like I said, we have blinds now, which is life changing. But I already have this army green blanket and I decided that the pillow would also look really nice up here. So I did a little matching pillow in that same fabric as downstairs up here. It's kind of surfer beachy but at the same time I don't think it's too much compared to the other room so lots of big changes up here um, mainly that I've made my bed a little bit differently and then also this situation we got a new rug this is also from HomeSense by the brand called Laloy um, it's a very popular brand but they had them on sale and they're so great we actually got it price adjusted because they went on further sale so I think the whole rug ended up being 230 which is really incredible for this size it's a printed rug so I think it'd be really great for a high traffic area or a kids room or if you have pets i think that this is amazing it isn't washable however you still have to spot clean but it's very very thin this is this is the style for anybody who wants it but overall i think that this room is really coming together i also got the matching little shams to go with this quilt I decided to make my bed this way nowadays because fun hack guys i think it's so much easier to make your bed in the morning because Basically, my mom had made the bed like this, and I think it looks really lovely, but we just sleep on top of it, and then I just throw this over, and then when I'm ready to make the bed in the morning, I just tuck this back. The only regret I have about this room is that I, ne I didn't get a California King duvet, and I really should have. However, I was trying to save money, and they are very expensive, so maybe one day this one will go to the queen bed, and then we'll get a California King 
for this room. All right, guys, hope you guys liked this video. Let me know which part of it was your fave. If you guys want me to continue weekly vlogging. Also, some fall styling videos are coming up, and I'm very excited about that, so stay tuned, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye, everybody. Say bye. Bye. Bye.